Howdy folks, LP Guru signing in for Let's Play Mega Man 2 Episode 1. For all my returning viewers who watch my original Let's Play project, first and foremost, welcome back. And for all you newcomers, hope you enjoy the ride. It is definitely going to be that. overriding previous Mega Man 2 data from my practice run that I completed earlier. We will get this party started. Now unlike the original Mega Man, Mega Man 2 is the first game in the franchise that has an actual proper introduction. Sit back and enjoy. And that was the intro to Mega Man 2, and to some of the most iconic music in video game history. And it's also one of my personal favorites from, from the older retro games as well. that I had written down during my practice run. And for those who are returning viewers, you will notice a difference from the original Mega Man game that there are eight Robot Masters starting in Mega Man 2 compared to the six and the original Mega Man <clears throat> and the original Mega Man sorry my voice kind of gave out the very first robot master we'll be taking on will be Metal Man jumping a bit of a challenge also kind of hard to hard to dodge as you just witnessed sometimes it will either throw you right into something you're trying to avoid or it will slow your momentum down it all depends on 
the direction that those arrows are pointing. And they point towards Mega Man. It slows you down. But when the arrow points away, it's actually in your favor, but sometimes it being in your favor isn't always a good thing because there are some pits. Oh nice, I wanna I will gladly take that. But there are some pits in this stage that you have to time the jump just right. So sometimes speed and momentum isn't always a good thing. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. It just depends, but that's something you'll be witnessing here in the very near future. So I can clear out all these things. I've always assumed they've just been drills. The game never really tells you, but that's what I've always thought they are. I would definitely take that energy refill not take the damage that I just received. And earlier, we grabbed an actual energy, good grief, an actual energy, energy tank refill. It's a handy new item that was first introduced in Mega Man 2, and it's the first of the the challenging jumps but yeah with the actual energy tank refill unlike the original Mega Man where towards the end of the game you collected that one item that automatically refilled all your weapon energy and your your main energy, you know, Mega Man's actual health. Unlike that, these energy tank refills, they're an actual item that isn't consumed, isn't used as soon as you, as soon as you collect it. It's an actual item that you can use at a later time. It's very handy and it's very much needed later in the game. And there was another energy tank refill, but that one, if you take on Metal Man first, which we're doing, there's no way to collect that one without committing suicide after grabbing it because there's no way to make it back across that pit. Here's the first Robot Master Metal Man, and we will most definitely die. There's no way to, you know, <laughs> barely had enough health. Two hits, and I'm dead, so there's no way to to win that fight on, on that little health. But very important to note is that this Robot Master's room is just like the entire stage with how it's a conveyor belt and it's constantly changing direction. Sometimes you just have to take a hit. Now as you're dishing out more damage to him than he is to you, you'll win and Hall oh, Man just barely won. Tick of health. Wow. Couldn't get that any closer had I tried. But yeah, just make sure to pay attention to the direction that the conveyor belt is moving in. Like I said it earlier, when the air is facing Mega Man, it's working against him, but it actually makes it easier to dodge Metal Man's weapon that he throws at you. Because when the air is pointing towards Metal Man, 
it actually pulls Mega Man closer to to the Robot Master, and it makes it much more difficult to avoid both the metal blades that are being thrown and avoid Metal Man himself, all of which deal some pretty substantial damage. So now that Metal Man has gone down, we're gonna be, I believe, it will be a Bubble Man that we take on. And it is. So in the next episode, we'll be taking on a Bubble Man. As always, Thank you all so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you all on the next episode of Let's Play Mega Man 2. This is LP Guru. And I'm signing out.